Who is your MVP? Who is the player who's going to reign supreme in 2021? Baseball News Club presents Who is your MVP? I'm going to need you to stop right now, subscribe, follow, like, and comment on the video. We're going to start off with Manny Ramirez, who is ranked third in MVP voting. Is it time for him to go to the next level? Tim Anderson was ranked seventh in the American League MVP in 2020. Then Corey Seager was ranked third MVP in 2016, along with his Rookie of the Year. And then, of course, Mike Trout, three-time MVP award winner. But what's even more crazier, he's come up in second place four different times. You could always count on Trout being in the top five every season. And then ranked fifth for National League MVP in 2020 is Juan Soto, but he did take home a batting title. Mookie Betts, 2018 award winner. Will he return to form now that he's in LA Blue? But we all know Mookie brings so much to the table, so if he wins an MVP or not, he'll still be the most difficult player on the field. Randy Rosarina, will he have a bust out season like his bust out World Series? Cody Bellinger, will he have his 2020 season? Or will he return to his MVP 2019 form? Or shall we say, will he return to his 2019 stance? Ronald Acuna, will he go 4100? this season with a loaded lineup and put up his first MVP. Now, Fernando Tatis Jr. was ranked fourth in MVP voting in 2020. Is this a continuation for him in 2021? Is he going to continue to put up MVP type numbers? Nolan Arenado, different uniform, different city. Can he put up Colorado numbers in St. Louis? Can he become MVP? And then over in Atlanta, Freddie Freeman. Can he repeat his 2020 NL MVP performance? At the end of the video, we'll show you all the repeat MVP winners. Francisco Lindor, ranked fifth in 2017 for MVP. New city, new team, new chance for the playoffs. We'll have to wait and see. And then for Christian Yelich. Is he going to put up 2020 numbers or is he going to return to his 2018 MVP form? The Brewers will definitely need him to show up this season. AJ Pollock. He's in a loaded lineup in LA. Will he finally bust out? And then Bam Bam, 2015 MVP. Always putting up good numbers. Always the threat to be in the top 10 for MVP. And then in San Francisco, Mike Skrimsky was ranked 8th in National League MVP voting in 2020. Will he be just like his grandpa and score himself an MVP? Only MVPs hit baseballs out of stadiums. And then Marcelo Zuna, ranked 6th in MVP voting. Will he continue to push up great numbers? We'll have to wait and see. Matt Chapman was ranked 6th in 2019. Will he return to form? And Anthony Rendon. He's on a good team. He was ranked 3rd in 2019. Can he push those numbers up? And then Aaron Judge, 2nd MVP voting in 2017. If this guy stays healthy, he'll probably end up in the top 10 voting. And then Vladimir Guerrero Jr., even though he's Rookie of the Year, ranked 6th in 2019. He's healthy. New outlook. Could this be a breakout season for him? Then Jose Ramirez, second MVP voting in 2020. Will 2021 be the season that Jose pushes those numbers up a little bit more and takes his first MVP honor? Jose Abreu won the 2020 American League MVP, a super stellar season, but it's super hard to repeat. At the end of this video, we'll show the players who have repeated as MVP in baseball history. Gene Carlo, will he be healthy and return to his 17 MVP form? Devers, ranked 12th in MVP 19, is this his breakout season? Then for Shohei, if spring training is any type of a sign, he's going to have a huge 2021 season. Luis Robert, ranked second rookie of the year, is it time for him to shine? DJ, continues to be an awesome hitter, is it time for him to go to the next level? And then Jordan Alvarez, a full season healthy, could be pretty dangerous. Kyle Lewis, proved that he belongs in the majors, can he take it to the next level? And then probably the story of the season if he wins MVP, Trey Mancini. And then Luke Voigt, a healthy Voigt. Maybe he could put up 40 or 50 homers and be part of the MVP talks. And Xander, time to get that MVP for Boston. Now in history, to repeat his MVP is very difficult. Miggy did it in 2012 and 13. Frank Thomas repeated in 93 and 94. And then you have to go back to 56-57 for Mickey Mantle who repeated his MVP. And then the great Yogi Berra, MVP 54 to 55. Detroit Tigers, Hal Neuhauser did it 44 to 45. And then Jimmy Fox, 
1932 to 1933 repeated as MVP. And the great Albert Pujols did in the National League from 08 to 09. And then Barry Bonds, 92 to 93. And let's not forget, he did it four times in a row from 2001 to 2004. Del Murphy, 1982 to 83, back to back. Mike Schmidt, 1980 to 81. And then the late, great Joe Morgan, 75 to 76. And finally, 58 to 59, Ernie Banks. Thank you very much for watching Baseball News Club. Have a great day.